What's up, YouTube world? This is Steven again. It is currently 12.03 a.m. on August 27th of 2015, and I would like to welcome you all to my 20th and final Top Thursday. Today, I am going to be revealing my top 10 WWE superstars. These are male superstars. I already did my top 10 divas on my previous Top Thursday. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this list. Number 10 is Randy Orton, the Viper from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, he's been a bad guy for like the longest time, but he's recently starting to become a good guy. Uh, he'll probably turn bad eventually. He's most of the time been a bad guy. Uh, some of his memorable, memorable fights with, uh, were with The uh, Undertaker and stuff like that. So, yep. I love his RKO, by the way. <laughs> Number 9 is Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. Uh, I loved this guy when he was in DX with Triple H. Uh, he was awesome with uh, Triple H, and they would always mess with Vince McMahon and Shane McMahon and and the Authority and stuff like that. I thought it was just awesome. That was probably my favorite moment from him. Number eight is Mick Foley, a.k.a. Mankind, a.k.a. Dude Love, a.k.a. Cactus Jack. He's got a lot of characters. Um... But yeah, uh, Mick Foley is uh, definitely a legend, probably, and so is Mankind, uh, with his uh, Mr. Sacco that he would always put down people's throats and everything. <laughs> I loved Mr. Sacco. Number seven is Hulk Hogan, brother. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> yeah, Hulk Hogan was definitely one of my favorites. Uh... Hulkamania! What you gonna do, brother, when the when Hulkamaniacs and Hulk Hogan and and all of them run wild over you, brother? <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Number six is John Cena. John Cena is definitely one of the best wrestlers uh, of my time, at least. Um, definitely watching wrestling, like in the uh, late 1990s and early 2000s. Um, he was a bad guy at first, and then he was a good guy for like the longest time, and he's still a good guy. And uh, he's won either 15 or 14 world titles. Uh, I think I want to say 15. But yeah, um, he's definitely one of the top wrestlers in the WWE as of right now. Number five is Woo! Ric Flair. <laughs> Uh, this guy is awesome, and his figure four leg lock and stuff, and he was in the WWE for, like, the longest time until he was, like, in his late 50s or early 60s, and he was absolutely an icon. Uh, I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame right now or not, but if he's not, he absolutely should be, but, uh, yeah, Ric Flair is absolutely one of the best, in my opinion. Number four is Triple H, now a part of the authority, Triple H. I loved when he pulled out his little friend, a.k.a. a sledgehammer, to uh, go, I guess, go ham on all of his uh, opponents and stuff. Uh, that was probably his favorite weapon to use. And uh, now he's part of the authority and is all about business. And he does, as he says, what's best for business. <laughs> Which usually isn't best, honestly. Number three is Stone Cold Steve Austin, Stone Cold 316, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. <laughs> and this is funny, because my name is Steve, Steven, and I also have a cousin named Austin, so Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny. So, yeah, he is actually um the... He actually has the record for the most Royal Rumble wins with three. I'm pretty sure, at least. I don't know. I think it's he has the most uh, Royal Rumble wins out of any WWE superstar. Number two is The Rock. Yes, <laughs> man! What The Rock is cooking. <laughs> the Rock is definitely one of the greatest, if not the greatest uh, superstar in WWE history, not counting my number one that I have coming up uh, in a minute or so. But yeah, The Rock with his rock bottom and people's elbow. 
Love the people's elbow. That's why it's called the people's elbow. It's for the people. It's for the WWE universe. Like me and all of you other people. So, yeah. Before I reveal my number one WWE superstar, in my opinion, I want to give you my honorable mentions list from most considered to least considered. And this is kind of an extensive list since there's a lot of WWE superstars. So, just bear with me. Here we go. My honorable mentions from most considered to least considered are Batista, Edge, Daniel Bryan, Chris Jericho, Big Show, Andre the Giant, Goldberg, Brett the Hitman Hart, Matt and Jeff Hardy, Ryback, Rey Mysterio, Chris Benoit, Roman Reigns, Sheamus, Kane, Sting, Eddie Guerrero, Rob Van Dam, and CM Punk. And finally, my number one WWE superstar on my top ten WWE male superstars list is the dead man, the phenom, the undertaker. I love his tombstone power driver that he does, and he went undefeated at WrestleMania until Brock Lesnar beat him to make him go 22 and one, or 21 and one. He is now 22 and one after he beat Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania 31. So, uh, and also he had like a match for the ages at SummerSlam. It was very, very controversial, controversial, I guess. But, um, yeah, uh, it was just submission hold crazy, that match. And he applied Hell's Gates on to uh, Brock Lesnar and made Brock Lesnar, I guess, pass out. But, yeah, um, I love his entrance. His entrance is my favorite, too, out of any WWE superstar. So, yeah, those are my top ten WWE male superstars on my final top Thursday. So, yeah, um... For my Freak Out Friday tomorrow, I am going to be reacting to one of the Psycho Series videos from McJuggerNuggets. So yeah, uh, definitely keep an eye out for that. And for the very last time for my Top Thursday videos, if you want to see my most recent Top Thursday, click around this general area right here. If you liked what you saw in this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe right there. I'm glad that I gained another subscriber. I'm at 111, the most subscribers that I've ever had so far. I know it's not many, but for me, it's a lot. <laughs> and comment below, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. This is Steven signing out.